Hey there. Welcome to another episode of John Burke's Paint Like a Feminist. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and run those colors across the screen like my handy dandy producer's gonna do for me. He's such a good producer. I don't know where I'd be without him. We got menstrual cycle red. Yeah, he knew that was coming. We've got Prius green, because we always like to showcase just how better we are than other people. And then we've got black. I'll let you do the math on that one. So let's get started. So people always ask me, you know, John, when I want to paint like a feminist, what kind of tools do I want to use for this trade? And I always tell them to be a good feminist, you got to have a good ample supply of tools surrounding you. So the first tool we're not going to use is the two inch Asian brush, because that's too oppressive. So instead, we're going to use our tiny millimeter brush. It's less phallic like and less oppressive. Let's get into it. So we just could do snipe little strokes there. There we go. Look how it's blending with that white. Oh, it's pretty right there. Such a happy little white and red. You know, I get asked often sometimes if John can, can a man be a feminist? And I have to tell them, it's like, well, if you take a second and pop the ding dong out of your mouth, I'll, I'll explain it to you. You take one good look at Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau and the answer to that is no, because people just think you're gay. Moving on. There we go. They see how it's kind of blending real good with that white there. It's, it's giving it that good vagina hat looking pink. That's awesome. It's what we're going for right there. Such a happy little vagina pink. So we're going to move on now and use our next color, which is use that green right there. And that green kind of, in my mind, represents that, that all that money we lost in that gender pay gap. It still exists, even though nobody can prove it actually does. So let's go ahead and keep going with it. There we go. Nice, happy little dots for the eyes. That's beautiful right there. Reminds me of the color that a lot of those feminists like to use to, to dye their hair with, to detract from the fact that they're hideous looking creatures that I wouldn't touch with Hillary's penis and Barack Obama pushing. That's right, let's keep going now. So now we're gonna go to our final little color here. Gonna get some black there, gonna smear it around. Silent black. Reminds me of the color of those dresses they wore, the Golden Globe Awards, the hashtag me too. <sighs> All those actresses out there putting their mouths around ding dongs to get movie roles and coming out later and saying they were raped. No, that doesn't make you a rape victim. It just makes you a whore. Let's keep painting. Oh, this is turning out really nice. That's a lot of black in there. There we go. It almost takes like an abstract approach to maybe taking an inside look at Rose McGowan's soul. Oh, it's beautiful, but not really. And we're almost done here. We're just gonna close this in. There we go. That's nice, really pretty, pretty little masterpiece. So now you think we're probably almost done, but not quite. We still have to add the one ingredient that a lot of feminists have quite a lot of. Hate. There you have it. Paint like a feminist.